somebody, he about to do some stuff up in here right now. Right now, right now, right now. So he about to do some stuff right now. Hallelujah. Hosea 5 and 12 with your pen and paper in one hand and that Bible in the other hand. Uh, we want you, I want you to write down if I have to take a text. Uh, what I want to do is teach to you today. Can I teach to you today? And we're going to talk about recognizing the prophetic whisper of God. Recognizing the prophetic whisper of God. What are we talking about today? Recognizing the prophetic whisper of God. I want to see you write it down. We're talking about recognizing the prophetic whisper of God. And the scripture reads as thus, uh, Hosea 5 and 12, it says, Therefore will I be unto Ephraim yes, yes. as a month. Does everybody see where I'm at? Yes. Hosea 5 and 12. It says, Therefore will I, God, be unto Ephraim as a moth, yes. and to the house of Judah as rottenness. Uh -huh. Everybody well, get this. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad that you decided to make this church your uh, stopping point between here and heaven because I refuse to keep preaching the same old sermons that everybody else is preaching. Just about there's a whole Bible. <laughs> I just want to read the whole word. Uh -huh. uh, the Bible tells me. The Bible tells me that uh, Pastor Hosea stood up um, uh, one uh, sun, one Sabbath, and he said to his congregation, he said, "If you keep on walking in unrighteousness." He said, if you keep on acting like you don't hear God speaking to you through every radio station. Uh -huh. He said, if you don't, if you keep acting like uh, you don't see what God is doing around you, uh, you're not following the signs. Tell somebody, follow the signs. Follow the signs. They're all around you. If it says heal, you got to heal. If it says stop, you got to stop. If it's a green light, then you got to go. Uh, the Bible tells me that uh, it said he told his congregation, therefore, uh, I, God, be unto Ephraim as a moth, and to the house of Judah as rottenness. Yeah. Uh, then we're going to jump down to the 14th verse. Mm -hmm. And let's all read that together. He said, for, for I isn't that interesting? He just called himself a moth. Yeah. Now Jesus Christ turns around and said, I will be like a lion. Yeah. He said, as a young lion to the house of Judah, and even I will tear and go away, and I will make a way, and none shall rescue him. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. This afternoon, I want to borrow your intellect, yeah. and I want to excite your intelligence yeah. uh, with the amazing work of God in something that usually gets on everybody's nerves, uh -huh. a simple little insect called a moth. Uh -huh. What am I talking about, saints? A what? A moth. Yes, a moth. Yes, a small, gentle, blind, yes. airborne, but yet ravishing moth. Go ahead, go ahead. Only one time in scripture where God is compared to a moth. Out the whole entire Bible, there's only one time where God compares himself to a moth. <laughs> Prophet Hosea, Pastor Hosea, uh, told God's people, uh, and he preached to them Sunday after Sunday, Sabbath after Sabbath, uh, Wednesday night prayer service, and this Bible meeting, Pastor Hosea, got tired of preaching to people and keep seeing them wander back into the sin that he just preached them out of. Yes. Yes. Tell somebody, that's a real pastor. That's a real pastor. Pastor Hosea got tired of taking sermon topics and texts and, and people acting like they're paying attention while they're there. But as soon as Monday comes, they forget everything that the pastor was saying. that don't get a lot of amen. Right. He preaches a sermon where people try to pretend like they're sleeping, not paying attention. Right. He tells them, and because he was a prophet, he auctions under the power of the five-fold ministry. So it was a five-fold Sabbath-keeping church. Hallelujah. And he stood up on that Sabbath and he said, 
I will be God like a moth. But in the middle of preaching prosperity, in the midst of uh, preaching wellness and health and wholeness, the people begin to do oh, something. Go ahead. They backslid. In the midst of preaching prosperity and wealth uh -huh. and health and wholeness, yes. some people couldn't make it to the next week. Oh, some of y'all don't need to go out on a date yet. Come on, One day will send you back yes. so many years. Some of you don't need another drink yet. So right. that one drink we ain't gonna never see you no more. The prophet stands in his church and he tells his people, God said, I'll be like a moth. He said, but also I'll be like a lion. Isn't it amazing how he preaches prosperity? He preaches healing. He preaches wealth. He preaches health. And people begin to gain stuff out of his sermon. I said the people begin to get stuff because they came to church. The people begin to obtain wealth because they heard prosperity preached from the man of God. Their homes changed. They got new furniture. Their cars changed. They, they paid off payments. They got girlfriends and boyfriends. They married. They got healthy. But as soon as they begin to get everything that they thought they could accumulate, wow. they begin to Next. 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 Isn't it amazing how the more stuff people get, the less they think about Jesus? It's not what you get, but it's what you do with what you get. But it's what you do with what you got. I know people that have degrees and they have nothing. I know people who have no degree and they have everything that they need. It's not what you get, but it's what you do with what you got. Write it down. Put it in your blackberry. So Pastor Hosea warns his people in Hosea 5 and 12. He tells his church that I, God, will be to Ephraim like a moth. But then two verses later, he says, Brother John, he said, for I, God, will also be like a lion. Yes. I may not get a whole lot of amens yes. this morning, ahead, but this morning, this afternoon, you will leave richer yes. and stronger yes. than you ever than you than you were before you came in the door. All right. All right. For our God will be like a lion. Two verses later, this prophecy spoken by Pastor uh, reveals great demonstration. Uh -huh. Number one, it, it, it shows character. It shows a spirit of discernment. Yes. And if you're going to be a Christian, you've got to have discernment. Right. Everybody that smiles in your face is not your friend. Right. And when you're a Christian, you try to walk straight. You can't get with people that's walking crooked. The Bible tells me that this pastor stands up and he tells his congregation that God will be like a moth. And soon, if you don't get it together, he'll be like a lion. It demonstrates that the pastor was concerned. Tell somebody it's good to have a pastor that cares. Not only that, it shows how God's people should be dealt with and how God dealt with his people in the days of old. Uh, tell somebody ain't nothing changed. 